Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. We have today Happy Happy. So this is the Sunshine card. Good things ahead, happiness coming in, or you might be happy happy at the moment, which is wonderful. In the near future, there's something happening in the near future. Helpful people. This comes up a lot for Sagittarius. It's been around people that have your back, that you can rely on, that understand you. That's going to bring in your happiness. So there's great things. It might be you're around great people at the moment and it's helping you with your happiness or it's going to be coming in. Yeah, well, there's the boredom card, the Four of Cups. There's the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles is the central energy here. The King of Cups. The Hermit card. The World card. And the Knight of Cups. Now, there's a bit of boredom going on here. We're not happy here. We're feeling a bit stuck. It's almost like mundane. The everyday tasks. Now, we could be in situations here that bring us stability, but we're not making any decisions and nothing's flourishing. Or it might be we've got a certain amount of stability and we're feeling a bit bored with it. But what we've got at the central uh, centre of this reading is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles here are about any area of your life. It could be your relationships, your finances, your home life, or your work environments, your work. Did I say that? Finances, relationships, home life, or finances. Yeah, anything that's tangible in your life. So you might have a certain amount of security, but you're a bit bored, you're not making any decisions. There's maybe things you need to let go so there can be growth coming in. It could be that you're a bit bored, so you might want to look at what's holding you back here, what you need to let go to relieve this boredom. But what Spirit's saying here is that we need to patience, we need to have patience here, and we need to nurture things. And this is what we're, they're telling you. It's a central energy. So it's like if you want growth and you want things to improve for yourself, you're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to let things take their own course. Now, if there's a situation that you're having to consider here or you're feeling a bit stuck and bored and you feel you want to move on and you're looking towards your future, if it's dull and it's just ticking over and you feel that nothing's happening here, it's about looking towards the future and what we can we can bring in that we're passionate about. So this is about looking to the future. You might have to do this in the near future. And if we need to look at what we want, the roads we want to go down and what we want to create, we're going to have to do a bit of soul searching here. So the answers are always within here. If we want to relieve the boredom or we want to think how we can move forward, we need to look at what we can nurture here and be patient with that. What is it we can nurture here and what we can bring in to move us on? Now, the answers are always within. So you might want to take your, some time away here. Um, it might be that you want to talk about it or reflect on it with someone you can trust, with helpful people around you, uh, and take go away. Uh, you might want to discuss it with other people and then go away and reconsider or think about what it is you genuinely want for yourself because the answers are here within you. This is about creating a future that you're passionate about that you can invest in and you know will grow and flourish instead of it just ticking over every day in a boring, mundane way. So we're looking at bringing in your happiness here. It's what's going to make you happy. How can you bring in more happiness for yourself? Now, what Spirit's saying is you might have to soul search, but you're in a good position, Sagittarius, to be able to defend yourself if you had to stand your ground over something, for example. Or you're in a great position to take on any challenges that need to be taken on if you were to think about what it is that you want to create here. And if you're prepared to work at it, whatever it is you genuinely want for yourself, you're prepared to work at it and nurture it and have the patience to watch it develop and invest in it. Well, it's like a plant. It needs watering. It takes time. The, the roots are there. The idea's there. Um, it's about moving forward now, taking the action needed to move forward. And what Spirit's saying is, even when we're going along life's journey to create things that we're really passionate about, there's still challenges along the way. That's normal. So we're looking to bring in happiness. So if you're feeling stuck in something, you might have to stand your ground. If it's a, if it's a relationship where you're, you know, you've got a certain amount of stability and you're feeling comfortable, you might feel like it's, it's kind of got boring, the spark's gone from it. You need to nurture your relationship. 
it could be that, to bring in more happiness and move it on. You could, you could be in a rut with your relationship. You could be in a rut with your work, your employment. You know what I mean? Your investments might not be, it might be that you've invested something and your finances aren't growing quick enough. But what we're saying is if you're just that wee bit more patient and you nurture them and you take on the challenges that come along with them, and you know, you're not feeling stuck, this is going to bring in a brand new life cycle here. And this is completion. This is about ending the boredom. So there might be something you want to end. You'll know what this is. It could be in any area of your life. Like I say, your work, your relationships, your environments, or your home life. You might want to, you know, look at one of these areas to bring in a new life cycle, to move away from the boredom and the feeling stuck. And it's definitely going to serve you well because it's a new life cycle or a new beginning here is going to bring in a lot of happiness and a lot of blessings. You can see the rainbow at the back there. You know, so it's about being happy here, Sagittarius, doing what makes you happy. Now, this is like the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. So it could be you're bored in your job and you might have to look at another one. Look for another one, do a bit of soul searching, being honest with yourself about what's holding you back and what's boring you. Uh, deciding where you want to put your energies and what you need to put your energies into here uh, for your future benefit so that you can move on and create this brand new life cycle because there's completion here. There's an opportunity for a new life cycle to come in. So the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. So moving house, moving job, looking at your relationship, all that type of thing. And you are in strong enough here. You're in a good enough position to take on what needs to be done here. And when you do that, you'll move, move on towards your happiness. And that's what this is about. The King of Cups here is move. Is, this is happiness, emotions. Um, he's moving towards his happiness. And then you've got the King of Cups which is coming into the happiness. So looking at what we need to nurture here, looking at what we need to do to move forward towards what's going to make us happy and taking the actions to do it, whether it's defending yourself or taking on the challenge that's needed, nurturing whatever it is that you're passionate about here, you want to invest in, you'll definitely move towards your happiness and you'll bring in a lot of uh, emotional stability for yourself. He's a very loving, caring king as well. So there could be the opportunity here of a relationship being offered. Now you can see the cup here. So you could have been bored with single life, for example. Or this is a, a, an opportunity coming forward to you that you're not impressed by. But if you look at it more, it could move you towards your happiness because you can see the cup. So somebody coming forward, for example, and it, you might end up with a good friendship that helps you here. Could be a very loving, caring partnership. It might not be somebody who you would normally take up with. But this is about having helpful people around you. So I'll never look a gift horse in the mouth. Look at every opportunity as a blessing, every person or every situation as a blessing, because it could have the opportunity to bring in a brand new life cycle. So there could be an opportunity being presented that there's more to than you understand. So it could be a very loving, caring person who's emotionally mature and stable that could be offering you something that you don't quite see the benefits of at the moment. But for example, if you nurtured it, it would bring in a new life cycle. And opportunities like this, if you're not sure of, definitely be doing a bit of soul searching. There's no harm in doing that here. Okay, so I will just bring a couple of divine direction messages for you. This is about going towards your own happiness. Animals. Animals are important to you. Animals heal, comfort and relax you. So that's for those that are animal lovers. Focus. You're in the need of clear direction. Decide what you want in life. Absolutely. And go for it. It's about looking to the future and deciding what you want, what path you want to go down here. Okay. I hope this helps Sagittarius. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.